I'm an architect who loves to draw. My name is Barry Burkus. I'm in my studio in Santa Barbara. And we're going to look at a house that we designed and tell you how and why we designed the house the way it is. Clients came to us and they said, we want to build on the beach. We want to build in a place that has great ocean views. We want to build a house that allows us to bring our extended family home, but we want to have a place that's private for them also. So we looked at putting the living kitchen across the back to enjoy the view, the library to enjoy the view, a stairway that went upstairs so the master bedroom sat over the top of the kitchen area and a guest room over the living room and a bridge that connected that and the guest over here and actually another bridge that connected the guest to their own bedroom suites which were over a motor court in the front. So as you start to, this becomes a house. It is a drawing that as you start to sketch, you, you draw a diagram, and the diagram becomes architecture. So what we were looking at, once again, was the ocean that ran along the area here. We're looking at, once again, winds that came from the west side over here, sun that came east and west. And we looked at the kitchen being on the morning side of the house. Always think about the kitchen, enjoying east light. The sun is a wonderful thing to gain in the morning. In the afternoon, the warmth in the living room. And we looked at the house as it around a courtyard so that if the winds came, that we would end up being able to shelter the people around a fireplace in a courtyard that we came through from motor court, which was the garages in front. So very simply then, this became a living room with a fireplace sitting in the floor, seating areas around the fireplace, the dining room in this area here, the kitchen that was back in this side of the house on the east side with sun coming in in the morning, and the idea that the library on this edge of the house would enjoy the quiet, and we could block the west sun with that, but we're watching the beach, looking at the surf, looking at a pool that sits in the yard, and it became a place that water in an infinity pool poured over into the ocean visually and then water in the front kept the acoustics that were from the noise of the road and, this, and the uh, train away from the inners of the house. Enter here, look to light, look to the right, the library, a piano, look to the left, to the dining room, towards the kitchen, views up and down the coast. But all houses that we work on begin diagrams that are bubbles, then start to become harder lines and the forms start to come together. And it's an exercise in thinking with the hand and the mind that will go from just a little bit more detail than this to the computer where it really becomes an organized piece put together by the designers that are working with me on the house. So it all begins as a pattern in a diagram. The idea of where things are and how they interrelate adjacencies and the opportunities of the sun in the afternoon, the sun in the morning, the views to the water, and the idea that the bridge puts together the guest and the master looking down into the wonderful views of the house. The people that have this house are wonderful clients and it's a house that we are very, very proud of as architects. And that, I think, is the greatest reward an architect can have, is a happy client, a great building, and a place that they want to go back and visit because of the meaning of the piece that they've designed and the strength of the architecture.